Historically, the large-scale PSP was designed as a one-product fits-all, and in many instances this is excessive for what we need for the section of track. Um, so the, the compact PSP is used uh, to provide a secure signalling power uh, for the railway network. Uh, without that, uh, the trains can't be operational. Uh, so there's huge benefits for network rail. Um, not only is the unit significantly smaller, um, but it's much more commercially effective uh, and also environmentally friendly uh, in a number of aspects, so through the manufacturing process, uh, through the installation, transportation and its operation. So one of the main benefits for using a compact PSP rather than a full PSP is obviously the cost. Ultimately, the financial savings the compact PSP can give against a traditional PSP can be in excess of 80%. Well, it's not just network rail. Decarbonisation is really important on a global scale, but uh, network rail have set binding targets um, and we have to try and achieve net zero carbon by 2035. So the environmental benefits for using a compact PSP is the main one is the material. There's a lot less material involved in a compact PSP than there would be in a large PSP. So from a manufacturing point of view, uh, the carbon impact of a traditional PSP is around about eight times higher than the compact PSP. When you add in the logistical impacts and the operational impacts, you're talking about a magnitude of 10 times saving of carbon. So the compact PSP has uh, the same functionality as a full PSP. Um, it's important that we keep these signals on all the time because it's safety critical infrastructure and if, if they go off then you could cause delays um, or safety concerns. So the, the PSP will supply the signals and there'll be battery backups and generator backups and all that as well.